Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Grammy's Story Time. So glad you're here today. Come on up, kids, and sit on Grammy's quilt. Come on up, Ronan and Aurora. Come on up. Okay, glad you're here. Today I'm going to tell you a story about Billy. Billy was a very curious little guy. He was six or almost seven years old. And he lived in a very small town, a friendly little town. And he had, they had just gotten grandpa's clock. It's something that grandpa wanted them to have. So they put it up on a shelf over their fireplace. And it was all shiny and beautiful. And it made a beautiful sound. It chimed. And um, so Billy was told and instructed by his mother, do not try to touch or reach the clock. It's very old, and Grandpa gave it to us, and we want to keep it safe. And so one day when Mom was in the kitchen making lunch, Billy just couldn't resist. He climbed up on the fireplace hearth and could barely reach the clock. And he scooted it to the edge. He scooted it to the edge and he got it in his hands. Oh, it felt so good to touch that beautiful clock. And then something happened. Billy went to put his foot back down and boom! And he dropped the clock. Oh, he was so sad. He picked it up quickly and he noticed the hands were gone from the clock. And a big Notch was out of the side of the clock. Oh, he was heartbroken. But he thought, I know Mr. Evans on Main Street has a clock shop. I'll take these hands with me and I'll go over there on my bike. It's just one block. Mom won't miss me. And he grabbed his bike, got on it, put the hands in his pocket, and went to Mr. Evans' clock shop. When he walked in, Mr. Evans says, well, hi, Billy. And he said, oh, Mr. Evans, I need help. He said, I dropped my grandfather's clock and I need you to help me fix this clock. I brought the hands. And Mr. Evans looked at him so sweetly and he said, Billy, I know you want to repair the clock. But he said, the hands aren't the problem. The problem is inside the clock. I need the whole clock. Oh no, Billy thought, how will I get that big clock over here? And he was so sad and he thanked Mr. Evans and walked out of the shop. He rode home slowly thinking and he thought, I can't bring that clock back. But Mr. Evans says he needs the whole clock, not just the hands. And so he pulls up and Dad had come home for lunch. And he said, Oh, Dad, oh, Dad, I'm so sorry, but I dropped Grandpa's clock. And he said, Oh, okay. Well, he said, Mr. Evans said, it's not the hands that are the problem. It was what's inside the clock. And so dad packed up the clock and they drove over to Mr. Evans' place. And Mr. Evans says, I can fix that clock. And he said, don't forget, Billy, it's not the hands. It's not what our hands do. 
It's what's inside of our heart that causes our hands to do things. So let's remember when we're instructed not to touch something, let's don't touch it because our heart needs to be right with our moms and our dads and especially with God. I'm going to pray right now that God will help us by talking to our hearts. Father, I want to thank you for being able and willing to talk to our hearts. Help us to be good listeners to our parents and obey them. Lord, thank you for the children today. Bless them, I pray. And bless all who hear this story. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.